So today we are going to be doing a dish that I absolutely love, it and Mittens as well, she loves this dish. It is a sweet and sour Asian sticky pork rib with a very quick vegetable lo mein. It's an absolutely fantastic dish, especially on a nice hot day like this. In Canada, plus seven is very hot. <laughs> so let's just get right into this one. I'm very excited. So the ingredients we're gonna need to make our sweet and sour sticky ribs are garlic, ginger, a little bit of Chinese five spice, some rock sugar, obviously our ribs, some green onion, scallion, whatever you wanna call it. We got some soy sauce, chili oil, dark soy sauce, some Chinese cooking wine, black vinegar. If you don't have black vinegar, if you can't find it, it's fine. You can use rice vinegar or white vinegar or a mixture of rice vinegar and white vinegar I've used in the past and it's been just as good. And then we have some fish sauce for the salt. Um, I'm not gonna use any right away. I'll probably wait till near the end when I taste the sauce to see if it needs any salt because the dark soy sauce and the soy sauce. I'm using a light sodium, but still those are gonna have a lot of salt in them. First thing we're gonna do is get our ribs prepped and then get them in some water boiling so we can boil them really quick and get that scum off the top so we don't have that in our sauce at the end. Okay, so first we're gonna cut up our ribs. Now, when you're making this recipe, just uh, buy the split side ribs. They just come like this, and then you just wanna cut in between the bones. Before you do that though, you wanna take that silver skin off the back of the ribs. It's, it's just, it's not gonna cook down, it's never gonna become tender, and if you don't take it off, your ribs just won't be as enjoyable. So you just get under there with something dull. I like to use a, a butter knife, and then pull it off. And that's the best way to do that. And then we're just gonna, like I said, cut in between our bones until we have these bite-sized ribs. If you have any excess fat, just cut that off as well. So we're just gonna get rid of that into our compost. We're just gonna get these in the water. I have quite a big pot here, but I do have a lot of ribs and I also wanna be able to scoop the scum off the top. So I'm gonna need a good amount of water above the ribs in order to do that. Okay, so we're just gonna let those boil for a while. With our green onion, uh, most of it we're gonna leave for the end as garnish. You don't really wanna cook that. It's gonna get really gross looking if you do. But we do want the flavor of that in the dish from some cooking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut about here and just cut the ends off of that. I'm gonna use that part of the green onion to cook with the garlic and the ginger in the wok, and then I'm gonna use this just to garnish at the end. Probably not the whole thing, but I, I'm gonna do a quick lo mein as well. So for the garlic, we don't need to chop this up, so I'm just going to crush it, get the skin off like so, and we're just gonna leave it like that. Just having a look, and we got some scum already in the top of this, so this is what you you wanna get rid of, and this is the whole reason we're gonna boil the ribs first. It's not to cook it, it's just so we can get some of this scum off so that doesn't end up being in your finished sauce because it'll make it cloudy and gross looking. Gotta blast away all this rebel scum. Rebel scum. So for the ginger, when you're getting the ginger ready, I just cut off the ends and then you wanna peel it, and the best way to do that is with a spoon if you Use a spoon, it's by far the easiest way to peel ginger. And you're not gonna remove much of the ginger, barely anything, just the skin, just like that. All right, we got most of our scum gone away now, thanks to the emperor. So we're just gonna strain out our ribs. So the first thing we wanna do is we're going to put a little bit of chili oil. Now, depending on how spicy you like this, you can use more chili oil, less chili oil. You can use chilies if you wanna put them in there. Recipe doesn't normally call for chilies. It's more of sweet and sour. A lot of people do like spicy. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of chili oil in there for a little bit of spice and then some normal oil. We're just gonna get this going in here. Just gonna fry this until they soften up a little bit. Then I'm gonna remove them from the oil. I'm gonna put some sugar in there. We're gonna get that melted down and then we're gonna add our ribs and we're gonna cook those and get them seared off on the outside. We want a really good sear on those ribs. It's gonna add a ton of flavor and keep all the moisture and juices locked inside for this dish. So we got some good colors started on that. 
just a few more minutes to let that cook in there and then we'll take it out and we'll get the other stuff going. We got our stuff out. I'm just gonna add some sugar in here and we're gonna get that melting down. We're using rock sugar in this case. It's often used in a lot of Chinese cooking. It doesn't really have any discernible difference in flavor. It's just, I think, a little more muted on the sweetness than, than your normal white granulated sugar. But if I were gonna do this without the rock sugar, I would use brown sugar. So if you're planning on making this at home and you can't find rock sugar, which you can get in any Chinese supermarket, use brown sugar, that's what I recommend. See, that's gonna melt down and this is gonna get really hot. Sugar gets extremely hot. So when you're working with this part at this point, you just really wanna be careful that you don't get that on you because that will burn you really bad. Really, really bad. So we're just gonna sear this up until we get a lot of color on our ribs. And we wanna make sure that those rocks of sugar stay at the bottom so they melt. As we sear this, it's gonna take some of the fat off of here and it's gonna combine it with the sugar and make a really beautiful searing color on our ribs. While our meat is searing over there, I'm just gonna give these a quick little chop. I'm just gonna do a bias cut as you've seen me do before. I think when you're looking at a piece of green onion that's cut on a bias, it just looks a lot better. If you're looking at these two pieces of, of, of garnish, which one looks better? Yes. It's that one, damn it. I said, th oh God, you know what? You're starting to piss me off now. Now you will experience the full power of the dark side. Make sure to constantly check your ribs. They can burn very easily. Oh, look at that beautiful color we're getting on there. Those look absolutely amazing already. I think we're almost done here. These are starting to get a beautiful color on them. It's absolutely incredible. They are still gonna be very tough though, extremely tough. So now we need to get our liquids in here. We're gonna cover them in liquids. We're gonna put a lid on it. We're gonna cook it for probably a couple hours. I think you could probably do an hour, hour and a half if you like a little bit of toughness on your ribs still something to chew or bite into, but I like mine fall off the bone tender. I love it to just fall apart. So I'm gonna go at least two hours. First thing you wanna go back in with your, with your fried garlic and ginger and onion, because that's gonna still add a large amount of flavor to the dish. We're gonna put in our Chinese five spice, and then we're gonna start putting our liquids in. Now, I've never really bothered to figure out exactly how much stuff I put in for this one. Um, when you're doing your sweet and sour, you do want a ratio of about five sweet to four parts sour. So you can kind of judge from there. And then as far as the soy sauce is concerned, that's gonna be your basically your salt content. So you wanna go about how salty or not salty you want it. So when I do put the soy sauce in, I'm gonna use a nice light soy sauce. It's got less sodium in it so I can add more and, and get more of that soy sauce flavor in there, the umami. Uh, first, we're gonna go with our our cooking wine, just sort of deglaze that wok a little bit, probably about uh, maybe three tablespoons. Now there isn't any alcohol in that, so we don't have to cook that down. If you did want to use um, a rice wine, you could use that, but then you'd want to reduce this and cook all the alcohol out of that first. But we are just using a Chinese cooking wine, so there isn't gonna be any alcohol content in there. So we can just go in with the rest of our sauces. Probably gonna use about four tablespoons of soy sauce. Uh, the dark soy sauce is very salty, and you don't wanna use a as much of that, but you do want that color. Like, look at that rich, deep color that that's gonna add to the sauce. So I got about maybe a tablespoon and a half of that to two tablespoons, probably two tablespoons for the amount of ribs we're doing. I am using black rice vinegar. Like I said, if you can't get the black rice vinegar, just use the normal rice wine vinegar and maybe some white vinegar. So I'm gonna use probably about four to five tablespoons of vinegar. Now this doesn't have a super vinegary taste to it. So I might go uh, later on when, I'm, when, this, when the sauce is starting to reduce and I'm just fixing everything, I might add a bit of white vinegar just to get that sour taste. And that's it. So those are our sauces that we're gonna put in there. Later, if we wanna add some more salt flavor, we have our squid brand fish sauce. Um, otherwise, we might put a bit vinegar in later. So now I'm gonna fill the rest of this up with some water. 
just enough water to cover everything. Just gonna turn the heat down to medium. And then if you have a big lid like this, it's perfect. We're just gonna throw that on here. It's not gonna be the tightest fit. There is gonna be some liquid escaping as we cook this down. So you'll definitely wanna check on this every 45 minutes or so, just to make sure we have liquids in there. After about an hour to an hour and a half, I'm gonna take the lid off and I'm gonna reduce the sauce down into that sticky, sticky sauce that's gonna to cling to the ribs and just add an amazing flavor. It's gonna be so good. I can't wait to see you there. One hour later. Okay, so we're, we're coming up on our first hour mark. As you can see, we still got about 14 and a half minutes. Um, I just wanted to have a look and see how our liquids are going. We still got lots of liquids in here. I do notice that we have a lot of the oil sitting on the top right now. You can see the difference. I think I'm just going to skim some of that off because when I get to the end of the dish, when I start reducing it, I'm not going to want all that fat in there. All right, I'm just going to get that lid back on there and keep cooking that for another. I'm just going to change this to 45 minutes. By that time, the ribs will definitely be cooked and we'll be ready to start reducing that. A few inches later. All right, so our time is pretty much up. We got about three minutes left. And if you look in here, we're looking pretty good. Our ribs are definitely going to be tender at this point. And we just have this sauce here. I mean, we're just going to basically reduce this now until it's like, you know, a syrupy, not quite syrupy yet because it's still going to cook a little bit once we take it off the heat, but really close to. And then as it cools, it's going to get really thick and just coat those ribs. But first thing we need to do is we need to taste it. We need to see where we are as far as the flavors are concerned. We're definitely got the sweet flavor. We definitely uh, need a little bit of salt and we'll definitely need some more of the sour flavor. So we're just gonna add some white vinegar because that's really gonna add that sour flavor. That's really gonna punch that up. I'm just gonna add a touch of this fish sauce for some salt. All right, we're gonna let that reduce some more. And then we'll come back and we'll try it again. While this is reducing, I'm going to go ahead and chop the vegetables for our, our lo mein. This is gonna be very quick. Okay, we'll get some water boiling. So in our noodles, we're definitely gonna want these to be chopped up. I'm just gonna chop up my ginger. This might be a bit too much ginger. I, I don't know if I'm gonna add all of that. Uh, the carrot, I'm just gonna slice on a bias. Okay guys, we're basically right there, so I'm just gonna get these out of the wok because I'm gonna use the wok. I'm just gonna finish chopping these up quickly. All right, we got our vegetables, we got our ginger, we got our garlic, we got a uh, cornstarch slurry here. So first I'm going to turn the heat up. A little bit of oil, a little bit of our chili oil in with the garlic and the ginger. All right, we'll go in with our vegetables. And you could use whatever you want, honestly. I'm just doing a vegetable lo mein. So go ahead and use whatever kind of vegetables you want. You could use pea shoots. You could do some onion in there. I got green onions, so I'm not gonna do any more onion. And we'll put our, our noodles in. I just have a medium egg noodle here. Now these are gonna cook real fast. It's gonna be about four minutes. Putting the noodles in. So then we're gonna add, we're just gonna make a sauce from here. So similar as the the ribs, because we're going for the same flavors. So soy sauce, a little bit of dark, tiny, tiny bit of this vinegar, a little bit of the cooking wine, and then we're just gonna add our slurry. And that's just gonna thicken everything up and just coat everything. I'm just gonna add a bunch of that green onion. Okay, I just wanted to get these ribs back in here because I didn't really finish them off with the sesame oil and give them a final taste before I serve them. You always want to make sure that you're tasting your food. Okay, it's got the sour kick that we needed now, the sweet. Maybe just a touch more salt and a little bit of our sesame oil, our green onion. And then just get a nice big old scoop of that rib. Make a big mess out of your plate. And there you go, we have ourselves a beautiful, sweet and sour, sticky pork rib with a, a quick, easy vegetable lo mein. Bon appetit. So give it a taste. Dig into some of that lo mein and then grab a nice big juicy rib and just... Mittens really wants some. It's very good. Uh, the sauce has a nice uh, like sweet and sour flavor to it. Lo mein noodles have uh, like a nice texture to them. They're not overcooked or undercooked. 
and the vegetables give a nice, you know, flavor to it with, uh, you know, their vegetableness. <laughs> and also the, uh, the fresh green onion on top, since it's not like, you know, cooked in, it also gives a nice crunch. Overall, I'd say 9 out of 10. It's a good dish.